In this video, you will learn how to create an iPhone mockup in Canva. The first example that I want to show you is this picture. This is actually a screenshot that I got from this website. And the frame is fortunately available in Canva. The iPhone frame right here is something that you can get directly in Canva because Canva stores plenty of iPhone frames that you could use as a mockup. Let's say you want to show a screenshot, a photo, or pretty much any content into the iPhone frame to look more professional. Let me show you how. So I'm going to add a frame first. The first thing that you need to do is you have to visit the element section and you want to search for the keyword iPhone mockup or iPhone frame. Uh, that keyword will also work. And there are multiple options. I'm going to walk you through that. So the first option is by using the frames feature in Canva. If you open it all, you will see there are plenty of devices and plenty of different scenarios that are basically iPhone or Apple gadgets. For example, I could use this picture. I'm going to insert it. And this is a frame and also there is a placeholder. Basically, if you, for example, if you copy an image or if you insert image into your document, you could just click and drag that image or the screenshot into this section and the frames will recognize the content and it will put that into the frame, into the placeholder. And I think the result are uh, quite, quite good in, the, in my opinion. And also it's very instant. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to manually adjust the size or the position of the screenshot. It will happen instantaneously. So that is the first method. Another method is by using a regular photo or a regular graphics. So if you go back to the result, you will see the graphics and photos. They are kind of similar. So I'm going to, let's say I will, I will use this. Uh, okay, well, there are plenty of options. Let's see the photos option. Mm, I think I'm going to use this picture. I think it looks very simple. Now this is a bit more realistic because there is a frame, but also there's a shadow, so it's going to be more prominent. Now let's put the screenshot into this frame. Let's copy the screenshot again. Let's paste that. And now this is the most difficult part. You have to manually adjust the position to make sure that it looks uh, really good. It looks professional. So I guess I'm going to put it here and when you're done, as you can see, it's not exactly within the frame. So you have to make some adjustment first. And this is probably the most difficult part and that's why this is maybe should be the second option. The first option should be the frame, the frame technique. But when you're done, you can right click on the frame and navigate the layer and select send backward or send it, send it to back. It's up to you which one do you think is the best based on how many content you have surrounding the frame. I guess I'm going to send it to the very back. And this is the result. So after that, usually what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the content and group them. So when if I move one content around, the whole frame, the whole screenshot in the frame will move accordingly. And also if you resize it, uh, they will resize accordingly. So uh, that was for the second method. And that's pretty much how you can insert or how you can create an iPhone mockup in Canva.